In Gloucestershire, there are around 9,000 people living with dementia. There is some misunderstanding and misinformation around what dementia is. More than 25,000 people from black and minority ethnic groups in the UK are affected. In this video, we cover some of the common questions, concerns and beliefs about dementia. We will also talk about what support and help is available in Gloucestershire for people with memory problems and dementia. Hi, I'm Carol from GFM Community Radio Station and today I'm talking to Liz about dementia. Hi Liz. Hello there. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, so I'm Liz Curtis and I'm a clinical psychologist and work for Gloucestershire Health and Care NHS Foundation Trust. And as part of my role, I work with people with dementia and their families. Dementia. What is dementia? So dementia is a word that we use to describe a group of symptoms that occur when the brain is affected by disease and stops working properly and that can cause problems with memory and thinking and behaviour. The changes that occur in the brain can be caused by lots of different diseases and often get worse over time. And there are many different types of dementia, but the most common are Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. So what would you say are the signs and symptoms of dementia? So one of the most common early signs of dementia is short-term memory loss. People with dementia can have a variety of difficulties with their memory, including things like forgetting where they've put things around the house, not being able to recall recent events, forgetting the names of people that they know, and also repeating themselves in conversation. We have to be careful here because I have three grandchildren and I sometimes forget their names. So when you say forget names or, you know, things like that, do you want to elaborate on that? Well, yes, you're, you're right. A lot of us find that our memories fail us at times. And as we get older, your memory ability does change. But dementia's more than that. So there are other symptoms that often go along with it as well. So, for example, people can have difficulty with concentration. Um, for example, they may find it difficult to read a book or watch television because it's hard to keep up with the storyline and to focus properly. And then there are also difficulties with communication. So people might struggle to understand what's being said to them or they might not be able to think of the words that they want uh, when they're speaking. Then as time goes on, people sometimes start to struggle with daily activities and planning and organising themselves with things like shopping and cooking. And they may seem more confused about what's going on. And dementia can also affect mood and lead to changes in personality. Now, some people think dementia just affects older people. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Getting older doesn't automatically mean that you'll get dementia, but the risk of developing dementia does increase with age. Younger people, by which I mean people under the age of about 65, can also develop dementia, but it's less common. Now, in this day, day and age, mm. technology, can dementia be cured? There's currently no cure for dementia, but there is a lot of research going into a cure. And also, there are some medications that can help with treating certain symptoms. One of the most important things to remember, though, is that there is a lot that can be done to support people with dementia and their carers to lead a, an active life and have a good quality of life. Sometimes people think that dementia is a type of madness mm. and they want to hide it or they're ashamed. And mm. I know like different groups, myself coming from a BME community, mm. it's not something that's talked about or recognised. What would you say to that? Well, dementia is caused by a disease that affects the brain. So should be thought about in the same way that we think about other physical illnesses like liver or, or heart disease. However, People with dementia often do feel embarrassed or distressed if they can't remember things. And this can have an impact on their mental health. So it can lead to increased worry or depression and can lead people to, to feel like they want to withdraw and hide away from others. Um, and unfortunately, that can make problems worse. So although 
there is some stigma still around dementia. I think it's really important that people feel able to talk with their family, friends and the community about their difficulties and get the support that they need. So what we're saying here is there's no shame in having dementia. Absolutely not. So if people think they have dementia or are worried about a family member mm. or a friend, what should they do? Okay, well that's a really good question because there are some difficulties, some other difficulties, and also physical health problems that are treatable that can cause problems with memory as well. So it's really important to get things checked out by your GP. So we would normally suggest that people initially speak with a member of the family or a friend and write down some of the things that have changed or that they've noticed are different. Um, then we encourage people to make an appointment with their GP and to take somebody with them if they can. The GP will ask lots of questions and probably do some blood tests and they may also send people for a scan, a brain scan. Um, if the GP feels that further tests are necessary they will refer to the memory assessment service and you'll be seen by a memory assessment nurse and probably see other health professionals as well as part of the assessment. If people have concerns or want to talk through things before they speak to their GP, they can call Managing Memory Together for advice. And the number for that is 0800 694 8800. So with all that you've said, mm. can a person with dementia still enjoy life? Absolutely. So a diagnosis of dementia does not mean life's over. Things will certainly change, but there's no reason why a person with dementia can't continue to enjoy the things that they do and have a good quality of life. So why is getting help important and what support is there in Gloucestershire for people with dementia and their families? Dementia is a very challenging experience, both for the person with dementia and also the people caring for them. So getting the appropriate help is really important in terms of maintaining everyone's well-being. In Gloucestershire, there is quite a lot of support available. So as we've discussed, um, people can get help from their GP and also through the Managing Memory Team. The Managing Memory Team are involved with assessing and diagnosing dementia, with offering support as for people as the condition progresses, and will also review medications if people are taking medications for dementia. And they also offer education groups for people with dementia and their carers. The Alzheimer's Society in Gloucestershire also offer a lot of support to people after they've had a diagnosis. They have a dementia advisor service who can provide a lot of information and also organise activities and groups such as singing for the brain and memory cafes. We know that caring for somebody with dementia is also very demanding, both physically and emotionally, and there's support and advice available for carers through the Gloucestershire Carers Hub. Quite a lot there. Yeah. So, at the moment, everywhere we look, they're telling you about healthy mm. eating and that. So what else can people do to stay healthy? So staying connected with other people, spending time with family and friends, and also keeping up with hobbies and activities and interests are all really useful things that people can do to maintain their overall well-being. We also know that trying new things is really good for keeping the brain active. So the Alzheimer's Society and other local organisations in Gloucestershire provide a whole range of different activities and groups that people can get involved with to help with that. It's also really important to keep your body healthy and active. So there's good evidence that physical exercise and activity can help to reduce your chance of developing dementia and can be really helpful for managing some of the symptoms once you do have a diagnosis. And we know that physical activity is really important for mental health generally. Well, there's a lot of information there, but I think it was really helpful, so thank you. You're welcome.